guys, what's up? It's Raven, coming to you live and crusty. I haven't said that in a while, but yes. We are live and crusty, and you can probably hear it in my voice. I just got back from Jamaica really late last night. It was a whole shenanigan, hoopla, rigmarole. We're trying to get home from Jamaica. In case you guys don't know, if you don't follow me on my other social media, I went to Jamaica for one of my friend's birthday trips. It was like a last minute trip. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go. So, did that, came back really late last night. I didn't get back to my house till 2.30 a.m. That's just a quick backstory as to why I look like this. Who at the door? There's so much going on. I haven't even gotten a chance to tell y'all what's going on. Girl, what in the heck? I don't even know. Got these big old boxes, so I'm gonna have to open those two big boxes later. But I haven't even gotten a chance to tell y'all yet what's going on. So basically today I'm just going to do <laughs> my hair. I'm just going to do a day in the life video. Like I said, got back from Jamaica way later than I thought. Oh, I was making my coffee. I'm all over the place, y'all. Let me get my life together. In case anybody cares, the way I do my coffee, I like the Snickernut cookie coffee from H-E-B. It's like a cinnamon sweet coffee. Like I like very sweet coffees. I use the Torani vanilla, either vanilla bean or French vanilla. Are you done? So I have been using this um, oat milk creamer that I recently tried. Now, fun fact, the regular uh, coffee make creamers are mostly all dairy free anyway, even if you're not getting a specific kind. But I just wanted to try the oat milk one out of curiosity and this one is really good. I really like this just in the vanilla flavor. Okay, got my coffee. Now I can officially start to be productive. Let me just sit in my office. Uh, by the way, my mom, she's over here this morning and she was heading out anyway, so my mom actually took Zaya to school for me, which is nice, so they're already on the way to school. But today, I had to actually come home early from the trip because one of my good friends from high school is actually getting married. So I'm hosting a little something at my house, kind of like a bachelorette bridal shower like sleepover so we're gonna have like food snacks movie night girls night hot chocolate bar candy popcorn just a cute little setup and then the actual wedding is tomorrow so the bride and the bridesmaids will be sleeping over here so that when we wake up in the morning we can get ready for the wedding together and i'm actually going to be helping the bride with her hair and makeup and stuff so we're all gonna you know, actually put my glam room to good use and then we're gonna head to the wedding tomorrow. But let me just show y'all that my house is a mess because so much was going on before I left for Jamaica that I honestly just rushed out the house and left my house a mess. I actually have a house cleaning service that comes every Wednesday now. So I was like, it should be fine because they're gonna come on Wednesday while I'm gone. So by the time I get home, the whole house is gonna be clean. But they had to reschedule, so they did not come on Wednesday. So I definitely need to like fully clean and organize and reset up in here so that it can be ready for the girls to get ready for the wedding. The house cleaning service did say that they will be able to come today though, which is great because I still need the kitchen clean, I need dishes done, I need the floor, I, I just need all the main areas to still be spotless, obviously for guests. So anyway, the housekeeper should be here actually in about 15 minutes. In the meantime, I have a sponsored post that I need to finish getting ready and I, it actually needs to post today is the due date. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Also, my editor just texted me. She was working on a video while I was in Jamaica and she said that she is about to send it over for my approval, for my review. So I need to review her video. If you guys watched my video I did about my whole YouTube business and how I work with my team, it's a lot of back and forth between me and my editor. It's not just like, oh, she edits my videos and it's done. Like there's a lot of back and forth in me uh, giving her instructions and notes and stuff. So that is another thing I'm gonna have to do. I need to check my email, check Trello, check my Google Calendar. And my calendar is looking crazy right now. Like it is so full. Look, I can't, every time I look back at myself in the viewfinder, I'm like, I can't take myself seriously. 
Went to Jamaica with my slick back ponytail, which I posted a tutorial for on my Instagram TV if you haven't seen it. So that's how I went, but then that ponytail was kind of bothering me. So I took it down after the second day and I was just letting my hair out. Oh, that's another thing. What am I gonna do for my hair for this wedding? I think the best thing for me is to just straighten it. Damn. Uh -uh. Okay, so adding another thing to today's calendar, straightening my hair because this, this is not gonna work for the wedding. But anyway, I was just gonna say, I still have a lot of stuff to purchase and buy for my home, not only just regular home decor, but also holiday decor and different things like that for entertaining because it's official. This is the first official year that I am hosting all of the holiday family gatherings at my house. So. I have to be in my house ready to host Thanksgiving and then also Christmas is even gonna be way bigger than that, of course. And I, will, I really wanna go all out with my Christmas decorations. So there's a lot of stuff that I need to buy and do for that, as well as just my regular home decor for my house. I'm still not done with any of the rooms in my house, basically. So let me just let me just walk y'all around. So starting in my office, my office is a mess. It has not had anything done to it and i really have big plans i really want to make this a super cute workspace and then also there's the laundry room which i also wanted to make this space really cute and decorated as well right now it's just a functional space it's kind of just a catch-all i have random stuff piled up here that i don't know what to do with yet only thing we did do in here which i don't know if i ever updated or showed you guys but we added these um this hardware on the cabinets the house did not come with any knobs or pulls so i just went ahead and added these silver things i actually did silver for once instead of gold because i felt like it matched with just the tones in here a little bit better. As for the living room, of course, it's kind of a mess right now, but basically the only thing I have in here is my couch, which I got early on, but ever since then I haven't added anything else. I still have my old little raggedy coffee table. Definitely need to upgrade that. I really have had my eye on these circular coffee table I haven't found like the perfect one yet i talked about this on instagram but i really want like a buffet or a credenza or a console type table to put against this wall with maybe a mirror or some type of artwork or even maybe a gallery wall moment on this wall just because it's just a big blank wall and obviously there's not a whole lot of space to put any sort of like big furniture or anything. The kitchen itself, I think I really wanted it to be minimal. So I've added my accessories up in the cabinets. I have a few accessories that live on the countertop and that's kind of all I really wanted. I wanted my bar stools and everything like that. But over here, uh, oh, which by the way, here is some of the stuff that my mom has been working on for the bridal shower thingy tonight. Her colors are these colors right here. So it's like burgundy and dusty rose since it's a fall wedding. But anyways, um, I was just saying over here still needs some love too because I got my tree, which by the way, my fig leaf tree is doing pretty good. It's not the healthiest tree you've ever seen in your life. There's definitely some spots on there, but people were saying how finicky of a tree this is and how they're so hard to take care of, but I've had this for a few months now and it still, for the most part, looks how it looks when I first got it. And then I was gonna show y'all my pantry because we're gonna have to do a pantry update video. If y'all have not seen my original pantry organization video, definitely check it out. But it looks, it looks decent from here, but when you really look at it, I'm starting to really expand onto the sides of the pantry when before this was like all empty. Definitely need to take some time to reorganize and update and expand. And then there's the patio which I honestly don't even want to talk about right now. So that's what that looks like. And can I be honest with you guys? The patio situation was by far the worst thing I've experienced as a homeowner so far. I'm not gonna get too much into it, but I had a very bad experience with the company that I worked with. Everything was extremely off schedule, extremely difficult bad service, bad business, bad quality. And I mean, you guys probably are looking at it like it looks nice, it looks good. I don't know what you're talking about, but I know how it's supposed to really look and it doesn't look like that. I think for next summer, I'm going to rip it all out and completely redo it, you guys. I know. 
extreme Virgo things, but I, I'm just not happy with it. I'm not happy with my patio overall. It needs, it needs help. Let's just say that. Check with me next summer on the patio. We're gonna not look at it for now. Just check with me next summer. <laughs> okay guys, so the housekeepers are here. They're in the kitchen right now. I picked up a little bit. I'm like trying to pick up and at least put stuff away. I need to unpack. I have a bad habit of not unpacking my suitcase right when I get back from a trip and then the stuff just stays in there and gets stale or I'm like looking for stuff and I'm like, oh, it's still in my suitcase. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpack from Jamaica. That way the housekeepers can get the dirty clothes and actually wash them and stuff. Ugh, I overpacked so bad for Jamaica. I didn't even barely wear any of this stuff. Oops, I accidentally stole one of Jayla's shirts. <laughs> this is not mine. So the housekeepers are still here. I'm working on getting this sponsored post up and basically what I have to do is it's a sponsored Instagram post. So it's Instagram story and an in feed post. I'm giving you guys a little behind the scenes action here. So basically what I have to do is go through either my emails or usually it's all on Trello and there are specific like hashtags and talking points and links and like information that I need to get to make sure I'm including in my post. So I want to tell you guys about this new makeup So this is the first right story frame and I got to make sure I put all the correct information on there and I'll literally sit here for like 20 minutes on one Instagram story, just like adjusting it, making it look cute, making sure that everything is right, making sure I put all the correct hashtags and the link and just like looking at it and make sure it's good. Because once you post it, if you post the wrong thing, girl, that's not good. So I'll stay here for a long time trying to like edit my story. So I just did that. I think I'm finally done with this one. And then there's another one and then there's an actual photo that I need to post with like specific things that I need to say in the caption. So it seems like really easy. And I mean, I guess in a sense it is easy, like you're just posting on Instagram, but there's a lot of like technicality to it and like do's and don'ts. So I could easily sit here for a few hours just trying to do an Instagram post. Okie dokie, I am finally done with my sponsored Instagram posts and reviewing slash adding extra edits to a YouTube video that I was working on. The housekeepers have left. They did an amazing job. As usual, couch is looking fresh. Floors are looking clean. Kitchen is looking cleaned up. Bed is looking fresh. Bathroom is looking cleaned up. I still have too much junk. I don't like how junky my bathroom is getting because I just have so many products everywhere. I really need to uh, go through my products and get rid of stuff so it can look a lot cleaner in here, but everything is spotless. And my closet is cleaned up. All my clothes are folded. I told them to just leave the clothes here because I'm gonna be going through everything. So I didn't want them to bother putting stuff away because I still need to go through stuff. But there is one last room that needs to be cleaned. I told them not to bother with my glam room because like I said, I need to put away all my stuff. They don't know where all these different products and stuff go. So I'm about to do that right now. All right, so I cleared off the floor, mostly cleared off the table and everything, put away a lot of the products that were out, put them back in the drawer where they go. Now I have to like reset it up and make it kind of look a little bit cute i mean i don't know what all i can do there's gonna be four of us in here in the morning doing our hair and makeup so i just kind of want to make like little stations like someone can sit right here maybe two people can sit right here uh two people can sit right here like bring that mirror over here somebody can even go in the bathroom and use that mirror and just having a little glam session in the glam room so let me figure out how i want to set this up but first i'm taking a break because i'm starving i haven't eaten all day it's after lunchtime all i had was that cup of coffee in jamaica we were eating 
authentic Jamaican food. We were having jerk chicken, rice and peas, and of course plantains. So for some reason, even though I've been eating plantains for the past five days, I still just want to eat more plantains because I just like plantains, okay? So I'm about to just fry these up real quick as a snack, take a little break and eat so I don't pass out. Because when I get super busy, I tend to forget to eat. Which by the way, I have gotten some questions about my weight gain journey or my fitness journey and to be honest, it's not much of a journey. I haven't been prioritizing it and I haven't been taking the time to focus on my diet or fitness or anything along those lines. I just have a lot of other things going on with travel and the house and everything. And I'm kind of like, I need to only focus on a few goals at a time. So maybe when I feel like I've completed some of these other things, then I will put more focus into the fitness thing. All right, so here are my extremely ripe kind of burnt plantains, but I, I like them like this because they're sweeter this way. And my mom just pulled up with groceries and stuff that we need for tonight and tomorrow morning. You bought that? You said you weren't gonna buy it. We were looking at this in Pier 1 the other day and she said, oh, I kind of wanted this, but I don't think I need it. And then of course she went back and bought it. It was on sale, it was on sale 20% off. We're having tacos, so all the ingredients of the tacos are gonna be laid out on here, the lettuce, tomatoes. Sour cream pico, beef chicken, maybe pork, some tortillas, some chips. So a full sweet. taco spread on there for us tonight because that is the bride's favorite food, so that's what we're serving. For drinks, we're doing virgin mojitos. So I've got the mint and the limeade. And then for dessert, I got some assorted fancy cupcakes. So take your pick, you like chocolate? Eat chocolate. If you like strawberry shortcake, eat that one. Key lime. And then we, when you guys are chilling and watching movies, we have the hot chocolate bar, dairy ingredients, dairy free ingredients. You can make yours with almond milk. I got these packages of hot chocolate. I just wanted to have it set up all cute with hot chocolate just because it is getting colder and it's like a fall wedding and this is kind of just more of a chill slumber party rather than a wild bachelorette party or anything so i wanted some cute cozy things so hot chocolate bar popcorn bar i guess we got different seasonings for the popcorn because we're gonna like just have a little movie night girls night candy movie snacks, movie snacks. uh but yeah main course is tacos and then in the morning since we're waking up tomorrow morning before the wedding and we're going to be getting ready for the wedding i wanted to have breakfast for us so got avocado toast bread for avocado toast fruit eggs Bacon. And again, the bride said her favorite breakfast food is avocado toast, so that's why we're having that. And then you can make some virgin, what you call it, mimosas. Virgin mimosas is just orange juice. No, it's orange juice with a little fizzy too. Oh. <laughs> Making stuff up. I looked it up, I Googled it, okay? So we got everything for breakfast tomorrow. It's gonna be a full thing. Dinner, dessert, snacks, hot chocolate, breakfast tomorrow beverages. We also got these nice satin and lacy robes off of Etsy for the bride and the bridesmaids. So obviously white for the bride. And of course my mom broke out her cricket machine as with everything else and put letter M on the front for her first initial and put bride on the back. And then for the bridesmaids, for me and the other two girls, we got the rose pink color bridesmaid on the back and it has each of our first initial on it. So since I'm setting up the glam room for us to get ready in the morning, we can wear these robes in the morning when we're doing our hair and makeup. So I was gonna have the robes displayed on the rack in the glam room and kind of like surprise them in the morning and show them. So also along with the robes, I wanted to do goodie bags. So instead of just getting regular paper gift bags, I got these cute tote bags so it would actually be reusable and useful. And then inside of the bag, bridesmaids are going to get cute little fuzzy sock slipper thing and then again cricket machine personalization going on uh personalized wine cups or i mean you can use these for any beverage but it's kind of like a little wine cup cooler mug thing with a metal straw save the turtles and a bath bomb a face mask and a cute champagne bottle looking bubble bath so it kind of goes with like the sleepover pamper cozy Theme. And I'm gonna put all that in there, put some tissue paper in there, make it look cute.
Okay, so here is pretty much the glam room all cleaned up and prepped for my guests. So of course we have my garment rack with the robes displayed nicely on there. And then down below we have the goodie bags lined up with each person's robe. And then I cleaned off this area, put two stools in case two people wanna sit there, turn on the light, do their makeup in the morning. And then I cleared off this table and put two stools with fresh, all these are freshly washed, clean makeup brushes in case anybody needs to borrow anything. I left my pink backdrop hanging down just because I thought it was cute. It actually goes with the wedding color. And then also the bathroom in this room is freshly cleaned and set up for guests as well. And basically I hid away all my mess in this closet in here. <laughs> So this closet is jam packed full of everything that was making the glam room look junky. But that's why having lots of closets and lots of storage in this house is helpful because when you're entertaining, you just sh shove stuff in the extra rooms. <laughs> so now I wanna hang the banner that my mom made right here in the archway so she sees it when she first walks in. Everything is like kind of somewhat a little bit of a surprise. Got some good old mini command hooks for damage-free decorating. <laughs> I think if we just put two of these up there on either side, we should be able to just tie the banner across. Here is the finished banner, bride-to-be in her colors, and we added her flowers. Cute. Got the candy for the movie night. I'm gonna put it in these cute little bowls and have it on this little spinning serving platter. Oops, dropped one. So here's the candy display for the movie night and it spins around so you can get what you want. And then we're also gonna have a little thing for the popcorn station. Okay, so almost got too carried away setting up the party that I uh, almost forgot to pick up Zaya from school. So I am rushing out the door. My mom is also rushing out the door because she has more things to pick up for the party. She's gotta go pick up some more balloons, some batteries, a tablecloth, just extra stuff that we forgot. So she's going to go do that while I go pick up Zaya from school. Then when I get back from doing that, I really need to get myself together because I said I was gonna straighten my hair, but now I'm about to have less than two hours, I think, to get myself together. I don't know if that's enough time to straighten my hair and be ready for the party in time. I've also gotta feed Zaya dinner and get her ready because my mom is gonna take Zaya to her house. That way we can have some quiet time at my house for the party, uh, but I still wanna feed her and get her prepared before she goes over there. Just a lot of multitasking. All right, we're gonna go home for a little bit and then you're gonna go to Grammy's house later. First things I always does when I pick her up from school is go into her lunchbox and finish eating her lunch. <laughs> I feel like she purposely only eats half of her lunch at lunchtime so she can save it for the car ride home, which is pretty smart. <laughs> what were you asking for? I, I went on set school, so I get to get a food, uh, cookie. A cookie? But then I said, cookies are for dessert, and you're supposed to eat dessert after dinner, right? It goes dinner, then dessert. Okay, so my mom's still at the store. She's about to bring back the rest of the stuff for the party. I'm starting to get everything laid out on the island. In the meantime, I need to get Zaya some dinner. She's eaten some of the plantains. I She loves plantains. We both love these that I had left over from earlier. What are you doing? Opening up the lids because they're making a line. You're making a what? A straight line of drawers. A straight line of drawers, but I don't need all those drawers open. Can you close them, please? I told you I'm trying to get ready for a party. We have to keep it nice and clean. What do you want to eat for dinner? No, not snacks in the pantry. I said, what do you want to eat for dinner? Real food. Mac and cheese, you had that for lunch. I put that in your lunchbox today. You want to eat that again? All you ever eat is mac and cheese. But then the microwave in 
and water. Okay, if that's what you want, easy enough. And how about some vegetables? Huh? Okay, we settled on plantains and chicken nuggets. So at least we got some protein and somewhat of a, not really a vegetable. I got the water warming up here because I managed to still have more dishes to do even though the housekeeping people came today and I wanna get all this out the way before the party. I still look like this. I don't know what I'm about to do with my hair. I'm supposed to do my hair tonight because I'm not gonna have time to do it in the morning because I'm doing the bride's hair in the morning and I was supposed to just be ready to go and now I'm not ready to go and it's already getting late and people about to just come for the party. And then, <laughs> but I still gotta do dishes and get Zaya ready and get the rest of the party ready. So I don't know, I don't know what's about to happen. Did you have fun at school today? Mm -hmm. What did you do? I played with Natalie, but she didn't want to show that just do with me at, at, at school. Why are you such a tattletale? She doesn't want to show that, that table with me because I'm trying to do some good stuff at school. What does that mean? It means you can do good stuff. Zaya is over here not wanting to eat her food. You playing sleep? You sleepy? Bored. Huh? Bored. You're bored? You're gonna go to Grammy's house and have a fun time, but you gotta finish your food first. But I didn't even show you that my mom did customize these mugs so we can have a personalized mug of hot chocolate and then they can take their mug home with their goodie bag. And then that's pretty much it. All the breakfast stuff is stored away in the fridge. I'm not doing too much in terms of fully decking out the house. It's only gonna be us four girls just chilling. So I just wanted to make sure everything was set up with good food and just make sure my house was clean. We got a little over an hour until I told the girls to be over here. So now I'm about to hop in the shower, try to somewhat get myself together while Zaya is supposed to be finishing her food. What is that? Marshmallow. You got a marshmallow from the hot chocolate bar? You taste testing it? Grammy is here setting up the taco station. Meanwhile, I just got out of the shower, I just washed my hair, and I'm going to try to at least um, blow dry my hair before I have 30 minutes, so I'm gonna blow dry my hair. I definitely don't have time to straighten my hair right now, but I'm at least do the first step, so that way either tonight, I'm gonna stay up later after everybody goes to sleep and straighten my hair, or I'm gonna wake up hella, hella early and straighten my hair some kind of way. By the time we need to be ready tomorrow for the wedding, my hair is going to be straightened. I pretty much dried my hair. I'm looking crazy. I'm just gonna tie it up into some type of bun just to make it look decent for now. But right now I am going to put these batteries in these little fairy lights that we got. And we got these balloons that say bride to kind of decorate the guest room because this is where the bride is gonna be sleeping tonight, the night before her wedding. It's tradition that you don't sleep with the groom and you gotta be separated from the groom so that's kind of part of the reason why she's staying over here. I just put on basically pajamas after I got out of the shower because it's a sleepover party so I don't really have to get cute and I told them that they can wear pajamas if they want to or just like wear comfy clothes. What are you doing? Balloons. You like the balloons? Mommy, it's Christy, R-I-T-D. What's it called? What do you think it says? I know. It says, bride. Bride! Mommy, okay, has... got these lights. Okay, so here is the bride's suite. I think it looks cute with the lights off, so when she walks in here, it's a cute little surprise, nothing major, you know. As I keep saying, I'm just trying to do something small and chill and thoughtful. Date. 
I am back at my house right now with Zaya acting a fool and Ogden, Uncle OG. <laughs> So where I last left off, I was getting ready for like the bridal party. So everything turned out really cute. The girls came over. Honestly, it wasn't much of a party because we were all tired. I have to admit that I fell asleep first during the slumber party and then we had to wake up this morning to get ready for the wedding. We all got ready in my glam room, which was really cute. Had our robes on, I gave them their goodie bags. They were really appreciative. The bride actually cried a little, like a tiny little tear when she saw how I set everything up. So I felt really like, you know, that was really sweet. And I'm glad that everything turned out good. And then like I said, this morning we got ready for the wedding. We headed to the wedding and the wedding was beautiful, really cute. I don't have any foot, I didn't even bring my camera. I don't have any footage of the actual wedding. I might have like one little clip off of my phone I might insert, but the wedding went well. That was from about 2 p.m. until, it was like seven, seven something. Seven so of course we had the ceremony, we had a cocktail hour, we had food, she served barbecue, we danced. I wasn't um, really invited. <laughs> you were invited. Well, you were I, I not was, invited. I like would. people were like, oh, is that your date? Like it's like, well, so the bride, we all went to high school. To, he was invited, let's just say, to the viewers at home, the easiest way to say it. He, Ogden was at the wedding. So we had fun at the wedding. Did you have fun at the wedding? Yeah, it was fun. It was Very really fun. fun. We danced and everything, did the Macarena and the uh, cha-cha slide. But then my mom texted me and said that Zaya was not feeling well, because obviously my mom was keeping Zaya. She said that Zaya was not feeling well, so I actually had to leave the wedding early. They weren't done with all the festivities yet, and I kind of felt bad that I had to leave early, but you know, priorities. And she said that Zaya Zaya was having kind of like sinus infection type symptoms. As y'all can see now, she's wide awake. Wide awake. So I went and picked, Ogden drove me home from the wedding cause I had actually Ubered to the wedding. So I didn't have my car and my mom's texting me like Zaya doesn't feel good, blah, blah, blah. So Ogden so graciously drove me home so I could come home with, get Zaya. She needed it. She needed it. I was like, it's a state of emergency. That She's Zaya like, doesn't feel on, good. Why? We're tired. And look at Zaya, who supposedly has a sinus infection. Ch chilling. Are you sick or not? Are you sick? No, you said you were sick. I gave her some Sudafed. She ha she's been medicated, so maybe that's why she feels better, but it is 9.15 and she is wide awake. Are you gonna go to bed? It's not night time. I am exhausted. She's exhausted. Uncle OG just making her more wild. Listen. She's supposed to, listen, let's do this some is gonna, meditation. This is gonna tire her out. Anywho, I just wanted to finish off this vlog, let you guys know the update of how everything went. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog. Two thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm gonna try to go to bed. You and I will see you guys. Hold to bed. Hold up. Hold up. We're not going to bed anytime soon. We ain't going to bed no time soon, boy. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in Subscribe my next one. Subscribe if you aren't already. Bye.